So in this last question, you use the slope, 2 thirds, and this one point, 0, 4, to graph this line. And notice something interesting here. This point, 0, 4. Well, since the first value was 0, this point was right on the y-axis, which makes this point of intersection here of the graph with the axis a y-intercept. Let's ignore these other lines. And let's write the actual equation of this line. And it turns out that the equation is y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. And this is one example of the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line, which is y equals m times x plus b. And when an equation is written in slope-intercept form, m is always the slope, and b is the y value of the y-intercept. So here the y-intercept was 0, 4, and so the y value is 4. And we see that in the equation here. 4 has taken the place of b, 2 thirds has taken the place of m, and that makes sense. This is the slope, 2 thirds, and that's the y value of the y-intercept, 4. In the future, I may sometimes just call this the y-intercept, 4, but really it's more appropriate to say it's the y value of the y-intercept. Now, maybe you can answer a question using this idea of slope-intercept form. What is the equation of a line with a slope of negative 5 and a y-intercept of 0, 2? Enter your equation in this box.